This is Dave Kaiser with Waterline Boats and Boat Shed Port Townsend. We are looking at a custom-built mini tug cruiser based on the Devlin Godzilla 25 design. Starting at the aft end of the stern quarter, we note the dinghy davits. Moving forward, the Honda 60 horsepower propulsion motor is mounted in an engine well within the aft cockpit. This cockpit provides walk-around access to the motor. Atop the aft deck, we see the gasoline fill port. A 20-gallon fuel tank is mounted below the aft cockpit. Continuing forward, we see lighting installed to illuminate the aft deck, cockpit, and engine well area. Also note the rear cabin hatch to be used for utility access into the cabin and for emergency egress. We see two bronze portholes that open into the starboard side of the cabin. Two more portholes are similarly located on the port cabin side. Note the abundance of handholds and readily accessible boat hooks on each side of the deck. As we continue forward, note the great 360 degree view from within the enclosed pilot house. Also note that the pilot house is accessible from both sides of the deck using full length sliding doors. Continuing forward, we see the deck box stationed immediately in front of the pilot house and an anchor locker in the bow section. Four-deck seating is provided by the top of the sturdy deck box. We now move on to the boat to view the four-deck area more closely. On the starboard side of the stem, we see the bronze bow roller. We now take a look into the anchor locker, noting the Rockness 6, chain, and road. Looking closer beneath the anchor locker, we see two specific examples of the attention paid in the design and building of this boat. Note the toe kick space underneath the anchor locker. This space enables one to stand completely forward against the anchor locker when setting or retrieving the hook, or when you simply want to look directly down over the bow at the water. Also note the two large drains built into the bottom of the anchor locker. To clean out the anchor locker, you simply need to throw in a bucket of water to completely flush it out. We turn around on the foredeck to see the hinged top of the deck box. We then look upward where we observe the hinged front window of the pilot house. This completes our deck tour of this custom-built mini-tug cruiser.